The mention of the four angels, chained at the Euphrates River is found in the book of the Bible, Revelation. This moment has captured the imagination of many for centuries, giving rise to various interpretations and theories regarding the purpose and identity of these angels. Many believe that chained angels are symbolic of something greater, with some even seeing them as powerful spiritual beings and others as metaphorical representations of natural or historical events. Regardless of interpretation, the concept of the four angels chained on the Euphrates River continues to intrigue and inspire us today. In this video, we'll examine some of the historical mysteries surrounding this concept, and delve into alternative theories about the meaning and purpose of these angels. We will look at the idea of them from both a biblical and a cultural perspective. Whether you are, a biblical scholar, or simply have an affinity for historical mysteries, we invite you to join us on this journey of discovery and speculation about the four angels chained to the Euphrates River. Explanation of the meaning of the Euphrates River Let us first look at the significance of the Euphrates River itself. It is an important part of human history, playing a crucial role in the development of several ancient civilizations. From the Mesopotamians to the Babylonians and Persians, this mighty river has been a source of life and commerce for generations. Apart from its practical importance, it has been the subject of many legends, myths, and religious beliefs. One of the most intriguing references to this river is found in the Bible, where it is mentioned as the place where four mighty angels were chained. This biblical reference has inspired countless theories and debates about the meaning of the river and the purpose of the angels. Some people believe that the Euphrates River is a symbol of the end times, while others believe that angels represent the forces of good and evil in the universe. However, not all theories are based on religious beliefs. Some alternatives suggest that the river played an important role in the formation of ancient civilizations, such as the Sumerian, and that the four angels represent the four cardinal points of the compass. This theory is based on the fact that in ancient times the Euphrates River was considered the border between East and West. Regardless of the validity of these theories, their historical and cultural significance, combined with the mysteries and legends that surround them, make them a fascinating subject of discussion. Description of the Four Angels The Bible describes the four angels as bound to the great river Euphrates. They are often thought of as powerful and dangerous creatures that have been confined for a purpose. Although their exact nature has not been specified, many people speculate that they could be fallen angels or demons. There are various theories surrounding the identity of these angels, some based on historical or cultural references. It has been suggested that they could represent the four winds of the earth, Revelation. Then I saw four angels standing at the four ends of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth so that no wind would blow on the earth nor the sea, nor on some tree. Some biblical scholars claim the angels symbolize the Babylonian gods who were worshipped as the source of the river's life-giving powers. In this interpretation, their release from shackles is seen as a judgment against the Babylonian gods, a symbol of the end of their rule and the triumph of the one true God. Others believe that the four angels symbolize the forces of nature, and the Euphrates River serves as a metaphor for the cycle of life and death. In this interpretation, the release of the angels represents a disruption of the natural order, a time of chaos and destruction. Regardless of their origin, the Bible describes them as powerful and dangerous, capable of bringing destruction to the earth. This leads many to believe that they will play an important role in the doomsday and the apocalypse. Explanation of their role and purpose According to the Bible, the four angels were created by God to play a specific role in the end times. While their exact purpose is unclear, it is believed that they will have a major impact on the world as we know it. Many biblical scholars and theologians have pondered what their role would be. Some of them believe that it is they who will bring about the end of the world, while others believe that they will have an essential role in ushering in a new era of peace and prosperity. There is even a theory that these angels may be responsible for unleashing natural disasters or plagues on earth, while others believe that they will be guardians of the gates of heaven. One of the theories that have gained popularity in recent years, is that the four angels may be related to the four horsemen of the apocalypse described in the book of Revelation chapter 6, verses 1 to 8. 
This theory suggests that each angel is associated with one of the horsemen, and will play a role in the events leading up to the end of the world. Despite the variety of theories about the role of the four angels, the truth is that no one knows exactly what their purpose will be. Although the Bible gives some information about their role, much of it is open to interpretation and speculation. Still, the concept of four angels remains one of the Bible's greatest mysteries and has been the subject of much debate and discussion throughout the centuries. Meaning of the number four The number four is a recurring motif in many religious and mystical traditions, often representing stability, balance, and order. In Christianity, the number is often associated with the creation and the physical world. For example, there are four seasons, four directions, and four elements, earth, air, fire, and water. In the Bible, the number four is also used as a symbol of the idea of completeness or wholeness. For example, in the New Testament, there are four Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, which together give a complete picture of the life and teachings of Jesus. The number is also associated with the cross and the crucifixion of Jesus. The four arms of the cross symbolize the four points of the compass and represent the spread of the gospel message to all ends of the earth. The number is also seen as a symbol of the four wounds inflicted on Jesus during the crucifixion. In this sense, number four recalls the sacrifice that Jesus made for the salvation of mankind. In the context of the four angels, the meaning of the number is open to interpretation. According to some interpretations of the Bible, the four angels represent the forces of nature or the four winds. However, alternative theories suggest that the number may symbolize something else entirely. The four angels can represent, as already mentioned, the four horsemen of the apocalypse, described in the book of Revelation as the bearers of war, famine, pestilence, and death, or represent the four elements of ancient philosophy, earth, air, fire, and water. So the four angels could symbolize the elemental forces that bring balance and harmony to the world. We must note that these theories are not necessarily supported by the text of the Bible, but they emphasize the symbolism of the four angels and the significance of the number four in religious and mystical traditions. Regardless of what angels might symbolize, their portrayal in the Bible continues to captivate and inspire readers. The Chaining of the Angels Explanation of the reason for the chaining of the angels Have you ever wondered why in the Bible four angels are chained by the Euphrates River? According to one interpretation of the scriptures, the angels were bound by God to prevent them from causing destruction and chaos on earth. The idea is that the chaining was meant to give mankind an opportunity to repent and turn to God before the end of time. This act of binding itself is a powerful symbol of the control that God has over even the most powerful and destructive forces. It is a reminder that no matter how overwhelming or frightening a situation may seem, God is always in control. The crucifixion also serves as a warning to mankind, reminding us of the importance of repentance and turning to God before it is too late. A theory states that the chaining of angels is closely related to the end times and the apocalypse, as they must be released at the appointed time to bring about the final judgment and the end of the world as we know it. This idea has caused much speculation and debate among religious scholars and enthusiasts alike. Some see their release as a literal event that will bring about the end of the world, while others interpret it as a metaphor for spiritual awakening or transformation. Explanation of when and how angels will be released According to biblical beliefs, the four angels will be released at the end of time when God sees fit. The exact time and manner of release are not specified in the Bible, leading to speculation. Some believe that deliverance will be brought about by certain events or circumstances, while others that it will be a direct act of God. This deliverance is an extremely important event in the biblical narrative of the end times and the apocalypse. It marks the beginning of the final judgment of mankind. The event is closely related to other end time events, such as the rise of the Antichrist and the Battle of Armageddon, which are also described in the book of Revelation. For skeptics, it is worth noting that these beliefs are based on biblical interpretation, not verifiable scientific facts. Although they have significant cultural and historical significance, there is still much speculation and discussion surrounding the exact nature and timing of the angel's release and the events that will follow. Some believe that the events described in Revelation are metaphorical, while others see them as literal predictions of the future. A famous Bible passage reads as follows. 
Of that day and hour no one knows, not even the angels in heaven, nor the Son, but only the Father. It seems to very aptly and helpfully serve as a reminder that the secrets surrounding the end times, and the release of the four angels remain just that, secrets. But it is this mystery that continues to boggle our minds, fueling constant torment and theories about what might happen, and ultimately, if anything will happen at all. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with friends. Don't forget to support us by pressing the subscribe button so you don't miss a single episode of our adventures. We can't wait to bring you more amazing themes. The most interesting things in the channel are yet to come.